In this tutorial we're going to look at creating pages. Uh, it'll actually be quite short because there's not a whole lot to it, but uh, uh, there's at least a couple of ways for this to happen, so let's run through each one of them. One of the ways to create a new page is anytime you see this uh, red text, looks like hyperlinked, it indicates that uh, although there's a link to a page within the wiki, it doesn't yet exist. So one of the ways to create it is to go ahead and click on a link that is red and you'll be prompted with the note that, uh, hey, this, this doesn't exist. Um, if you'd like to create it, and if your permissions allow, you can click the Create This Page button, which is, of course, down by where the Edit button would typically be. We'll go ahead and select this one, Create This Page. And then we'll get our form that we've seen for editing, and everything is much the same then from this point on. So this is going to be my participant page, so I'm going to put my name as the heading. And this time I'll actually use the toolbar. I'm highlighting my text, and I'll usually do it um, at least a H3 heading. I'm going to do it H2 for this one. Use of the headings is a very good practice because it helps keep the style of the page within order. And then we would have some sort of subtopic, like possibly about me. And highlight, and we'll do a, um, a smaller heading then. my next second subtopic be? Um, how about um, leisure interest? And again, I'm going to try to do this one the same as the previous subheading, which I believe I did as H4. Yes. Let's take a look at that, just as should almost be a um, review from the uh, syntax page. But here you can see some headings, um, subheadings, and um, kind of lays it out hopefully in a, a logical manner. Okay, that's one way to create a page then. Now you'll notice then that um, we got into here, but uh, we don't have links back. So it's always also a good practice to include a link back to the referring page. So if we go back and look at this page that we were on, um, and I have to look at the top here. I'm not sure you're going to be able to read this. Um, but it is participants. Um, actually, the name of the page is start. So if I go back into my page, edit this, and we're going to add a link here. So I'm editing this page. I will do our link again, our brackets, and I'm going to take it back to the start page. But again, that's not going to mean a whole lot to uh, the reader, so rather than start page, we're going to say, we're going to put the pipe in, we're going to say return to participants page. And there we go. And we'll save it. Hopefully that'll show up as blue, which means that uh, the page exists. In other words, we have the correct page. And I select that, and we'll head back to this one. Okay, another way to um, create a new page, let's say I want a page within this. Other than leisure interest being a subtopic, I want to make that its own page within my uh, participants page. So I will edit this, and I'm going to take off the heading syntax or the equals signs. We'll highlight this and I'm going to use my shortcut button here for a link like so. And when we click save that'll show up as red text. We're going to click on it and it's going to again tell us this page does not exist. 
follow the same process as before. Create this page using a similar title to what our link was, the user interest. And we'll again do a heading, try to be consistent with the other one. And we'll talk about the interest. So that's creating a new page. Um, one other quick thing that I'll mention on this, although I can do a little more detail than we need to for most of our work in here, is that if you look at the top, the location that it's doing each of these, for example, this particular site is, of course, courses.webtoteach.com. And this is a course called Web 2.0. And then within this, we have a directory called participants. And you're actually going to then, for each participant, they'll have their own directory as well. So it's important to notice the difference between directories versus page names, because if you're just looking for a page and you want to link to it, you have to be sure that you're in that same directory. And again, that gets to be kind of into some of the advanced functions. Typically, you won't have to worry about that, but it's worth paying attention to.